gems welcome back to my channel thank you for watching thank you for clicking on my video and for those who just stumbled across my video and who are new who have not seen any of my videos please hit the subscribe button I really do need all the subscribers I can get I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers uh, if not more um, yes I'm trying to I'm trying to reach that and there are perks because I do giveaways almost every month so far I've been giving giveaways to my viewers to my subscribers so it doesn't hurt for you to go ahead and go ahead and subscribe yeah, I already have some items in mind picked out for October, and I hope that you guys would be able to join in on this giveaway. Um, yes, I'll be post, I'll be letting y'all know about the giveaways in in my YouTube videos as like sneak, not sneak peeks, but as a uh, inside scoops. But also follow me on social media on Instagram and Twitter. They'll be linked down below in the description bar at the bottom. If you just look right, right beneath the screen here, you're gonna see down there in the description bar you're gonna see my instagram and my twitter handle and also while you're at it go ahead and click on that notification bell there's a bell right there personalize it and then also give my video a thumbs up yes i really do need all the help that i can get on youtube i'm trying to like i said i'm trying to get a thousand subscribers and i do giveaways it's perks so yes um thank you for watching thank you for those who've been watching me on my channel who've been big supporters from the beginning i thank you so much that you have not left me thank you so much that you have not left me so i just cannot express how much love and appreciation i have for you guys to do that because I, this is my dream is to you know um be on youtube receive monetiz monetization like who i mean that's a perk you know who doesn't want to receive monetization from youtube right so um i'm trying to get up there so in today's video, we're going to go ahead and do two unbaggings. I have them right here. Ooh, they're in gold bags. The reason for that is because they're not this month's theme bag, but they're um, mystery bags and um, that I got off the website before. I, even, I haven't even received my September bag yet. I still haven't received it, so I'm hoping that I get it tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping. Here's hoping that I do receive it tomorrow. But um, I was able to go on the website because this is a new experience for me. Uh, for for Mipsy, I didn't know that you were able to purchase, you know, mystery bags. You're able to purchase uh, offers. You know, they have Ipsy offers. They have popular picks. You can buy off their website, just like nonstop. You can buy off their website of what they sell, and you're like, I got this. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. Well. And in other box, and see, I have two. So I have Ipsy, and I have another box subscription. And that other box subscription doesn't give me that option, that offer. So yes, I'm getting on that website, the Ipsy web website, and seeing what else is new that they they'll put out on their on their site. So you just have to constantly be on their site and just seeing what they offer, um, what's new on their site. So I kind of went a little crazy on that. <laughs> I kind of went a little ham on that. So um, for the next several weeks, you will be seeing uploads, Ipsy uploads, you know, because I did go a little overboard, but I, you will be seeing a, a lot of those. And I'm glad that you will be because you will not be disappointed. You will be seeing some of these items that you may or may not have received in your boxes. These are mystery bags. So you let me know in your comment, in the comment section down below, if you are an Ipster and if you have received these items. Let me know how these items work for you. Let me know if you like them. Let me know if you want to become a subscriber or if you've been a subscriber and you kind of want to, you got off, you want to come back on. Let me know. Let me know your story on uh, Ipsy, on on Ipsy and um, your experience with them. So we're going to go ahead and open up the first bag here. I love that they come in a gold bag here because I'm, I'm used to seeing them in the pink bag, but Gold is not bad. Gold looks good on me. <laughs> I love gold. Next to diamonds, I love gold. That's my next my next mineral and gems. So uh, that's my next, uh, what is it? Mineral or, you know, earth's minerals that the earth produces. You know, that's my next, that's the next thing that I love is gold. Gold, silver. Yeah. So here we go. Sorry, I did not show you when I opened up my bag. 
Uh, there's nothing else in here, just the bag that I pulled out. The bag that I pulled out is this one here. Ooh, this is a continuation of my of my Betty Boop collection. Isn't that lovely? Look at that. Look at her little peepers. They're so cute. Yes, in the back, it has the same sequence as the Glam Bag Plus. That's the one I had recorded. I'll link the, um, I'll put the F card up there, which is the, the part four of my um, baggings. I had the, I had mostly um, Glam Bag Plus items in my last, in my last video, my part, my part four video. This is my part five video. This is the Glam Bags, the ones you normally would pay just like $12. But the mystery bags are actually worth more. This one I paid $14. And it has a value of, let me tell you that it has a value of $51.35. It doesn't come with a card. There was no card in the bag. Let's look inside. So, so I already described the bag to you. This one, the zipper is black. And is that metal zipper type? The metal zipper and it's in the shade black and it has the B with the hearts inside the B just like the hearts right there and it has the has a black hardware here and um, yeah let's open it up and see what we see inside do we see any cards I don't see I don't feel like there's a card in there but this is how the bag looks like on the inside there's um the black lining which is really sexy as well, I think. I think it's real sexy, the, the black lining. The other one, the the Ipsy Glam Plus uh, with the Betty Boop one, the mystery bag, was it had the red lining and it had a heart um, gripper, zipper gripper. It was red and uh, it, the her symbol was red. Her silhouette was on the bag. It looks sexy. That bag looks sexy. I, I, I guarantee you. This one looks cute. To me, this one is the cute side of uh, Betty Boop right here. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and pick out the first item here that I see my in my bag. It's called Trust Fund Beauty. Ooh, Trust Fund. I think I need one of those. I think all of us need one of those, don't we? Um, it's a half a fluid ounce. So half, half an ounce. This is how the, the packaging looks like. For this here it feels like a nail polish I think I already mentioned that I think it's a nail polish okay this is how it looks the box looks like and this is the shade adulting Ooh, adulting mm. sounds I don't know kind of rated R to me adulting <sighs> let me read a little bit of what it says about it it says uh, be unapologetic yourself be beautiful be ethical there's 10 free things here it's made without formaldehyde it's free of toluene tolu it's toluene or tol toluene I'll go ahead and put the, the name up here on the screen um, DBP perfumes formaldehyde resin parabens xylen Camphor, mineral oil, phthalate, sodium lauryl sulfates, gluten, lead, nickel, benzophenone, benzophenone, or benzophenone, one, GMOs, and any animal derived ingredients. It's vegan, cru cruelty free. So, yeah, I showed you how the box looked like. And let's open this baby up, see what's inside. So, ooh, it's a nice, pretty pink shade. Uh, nice, pretty pastel color. Nice, nice, nice. I like me some pastels as well. Okay, so that's number one. That's item number one. The next item in here is the Jumiso Have a Good Cream Snell and Centella Deeply Hydrating and Soothing and it looks like there's some Chinese writing on here on this side. Like there's like a let me show you the box. Let me show you the tube. Like right here on the side, you can see like a little Chinese writing on there, calligraphy or something. So the Jumiso have a good cream snail and 
Centella it says, a description of it says, a daily moisturizer for all skin types to hydrate and soothe skin. Okay, so it's for, it's, it's, it says here for directions how to use it. It says, after cleansing and toning, apply a generous amount to face and neck. Gently massage until cream is fully absorbed. So yeah, so this is like a moisturizing cream. So let me see, there's a scent to it. Well, you can't really smell, there's a seal on here. I don't smell a scent or anything. I doubt that there is. It doesn't look like it, it, it has a scent, but if it does, I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I when I upload my video part, video part six, I'll let you know, because I'll be doing a try on with these in my video part six, and I'll let you know what I tried on, what I didn't like. So, the next thing I see here is my Co-Boss lip treatment. Oh, okay. Lip treatment. So it comes in this box here. It's certified vegan. And certified vegan. It's a lip treatment. It has 0.24 fluid ounces, which is a quarter of an ounce. Sunflower on shea butter. What it is, this lip balm and gloss contains a luxurious and intensely preparative formula that works on contact to soften roughness, relieve discomfort, and help rejuvenate seriously dry lips. A sunflower seed, vitamin E, and shea butter renews the delicate lip area while strengthening lips, moisture barrier to help prevent further damage formulated with K-Boss NYC's unique pigment blend to give your lips a sheen that flatters every skin tone. Apply with clean fingers or applicator gently all over your, all over the lips. So this is something we would use, we can use right now that we're wearing masks. <clears throat> we're wearing masks on a daily basis and sometimes our lips tend to get kind of dehydrated, kind of dry. And so I think this, this lip treatment will help you instantly get rid of any kind of dry, dry rough, roughness on your lips. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. So this is how the packaging looks like on the inside. Really cute little tube. Okay, really cute little tube. And I wanna, I'm curious to see how the inside looks. So I'm gonna, I am gonna open this up. This is not gonna be in a giveaway or anything. So I do plan on keeping this. And if I like it, my sister, she is so in love with lip treatments, anything with lip glosses, she's so in love with that. Ooh, it has a tint of, it has like a little red tint to it. You see that? Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Nice, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna, lo I'm gonna love wearing this every day on my lips when I wear my masks. Yes, this is a, okay, I'm up for lip treatments now. I love lip treatments. <laughs> Yes, because they're simple. I mean, you, you can get, it might give me a tint or not. I'll let you know. Like I said, I'll be doing a try on and I'm, I'm going to use this as a little try on for my next video for the part. Um, this is part five. For my part, for my part six. This will be good for my part six video. So. Yeah, because I'll be doing a try on, so you'll be able to see how it looked on my face, and I'll, and I'll give you like a little feedback on it when I when I applied it. Okay, so the next thing in this bag is called Space Case Cosmetics. Is a scene from space highlighter. The packaging looks like this. So the packaging looks like this. Okay, it's really nice. It has a little has a spaceship with you know little rays of light coming out of it. So let me read a little bit about it. It says here it's a highlighter, create your own reality, made without formaldehyde, toluene. That's the that's the word I was telling you about that I'm gonna go ahead and put up on the screen. DVP perfumes, formaldehyde resin, parabens, island, camphor, mineral oil. Pathylate, sodium lauryl sulfates, gluten, lead, nickel, benzoyl, phenon, one, GMOs, and any animal-derived ingredients. It's a vegan and cruelty-free. So, 
Okay. Let's see if there's any more information on it. No, so let's go ahead and open it up. I'll show you what, how it looks like on from the inside. It, to me, when I seen this, this looked like a single eyeshadow, like any regular single eyeshadow to me. Um, it's in the shade, it just seen from space, so I, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how this will look as a highlighter on my skin tone. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if it gives me that glow, that really shiny glow when I try this on. So, that's my fourth item. My last but not least item from this cute little bag. Look at her little peepers. They're so cute. So the last but not least, it's another Betty Boop um, collab with Ipsy. Have y'all have y'all gotten this in y'all's bag? Let me know, or am I the only one that has gotten it in the bag? The first one of. I'm one of the first, and I love these. I love these uh, shader brushes. They're thick. I like to use them to blend out my my eyeshadows with this. These are just right up my 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 alley. These shader brushes here. Sure, if I can use them. You can probably use them for like nose. Uh, they're big enough for that. For like nose con not contour, but nose highlighting or even eyeshadow. Um. Yeah, so that's how it looks like standing up. Can y'all see the background? There's a little heart. There's hearts and a B. There's hearts and a B right right there. If you can see that. There's a B right here. Can y'all see that? I hope my camera's focusing to it correctly today because it's been kind of acting up a little. Okay, so all right. So I'm glad you were you're able to see that. So that was bag number one. Wow, I have so many things to try on. To try on and show you guys in my next video. So I'm excited about that bag. I hope you guys were too. I hope you I don't know if y'all knew that. I don't know if the mister I don't know. Let me know if, if my mystery bag had different items than yours or had some of had similar items to your to your glam bag. Or an Ipster since um, October 2019 this was part of what they had in their items you know for for that month's bag that had different items maybe items that you did not have in your bag let me know if there were add-ons that you added on to your bag let me know what did you add on what did you like out of this bag what you didn't like um, so yeah I would like to hear your feedback let me know what you thought about it so the next bag here that I am going to unbag is this one here. Oh, okay. Okay, I got a bag and there's a, a pack of something. If there's anything else in here. Nothing else. Oh, I feel something. Oh, here it is. Oh, look, I have a fan brush. Good for my highlighter. Mm -mm -mm. Pair this up with my highlighter. So now I got a fan brush, and this one is by LexiBeauty.com. Ooh, okay. This one I actually paid a fourteen dollars as well, and this one has a value of, as opposed to Betty Boops. Betty Boops was fifty one thirty five. This one has a forty five dollar thirty six, forty five and thirty six dollar value in this bag. So. But let me see what we have here. Okay, so I love this fan. I love this fan, fan brush. Look at that. Okay. I don't think I should have taken it out. Now it's going to be hard for me to put it back in. I don't know how they put it in. How did they put it in? Oh, I see. It's a holster. It's a whole. I see. It's a holster. It goes in like this. I pulled it out the wrong way. Oops. Sorry. Um, it's the Luxie 560 medium fan. Ooh, I like Luxie brushes. Here you go, Luxie 5 560 medium fan. 
So I've been, I've been since I've started with Ipsy and my other box subscription that I have, I've been liking like Luxie brushes. I've never heard of them until I got my box subscriptions. I like Luxie brushes. I don't know who they, I, I was so I was more familiar with the other more higher up brand high-end class brushes but never Lexi Lexi is not a bad brand Lexi has really good really good item really good brushes so I might be giving it in a giveaway or I might be keeping it we'll see I'll let y'all know I'll let y'all know I know somebody would like a, a highlighting brush so Okay, so that's one item. The next item here is a bubble up peeling pad. Easy to use, disposable, dual sided pad. Exfoliate the skin to get a brightening appearance. Remove blackheads by deep cleansing the pores. Soft and gentle on the skin is by Han Hu. There's five pads in here. That's how the packaging looks like. Nice. So the back, you bubble up peeling pad with collagen. Okay. The bubble up peeling pad is made to deeply cleanse and exfoliate the skin by removing surf, surface dirt, oil, makeup, and dead skin cells. The duo sided pad is formulated with collagen and enzymes, enzyme powder to brighten the skin while giving it a smooth, glowing, and vibrant appearance. And it, and it also gives you instructions on how to do it. So paraben free sulfate free fragrance free I am going to be ready to try this so I might even use this when I come back on to do my other part of my ipsy and my ipsy bagging so that's two items out of this bag I'm never I'm not disappointed I'm, I'm, not, I'm liking these bags so far oh here's another marble another marbly bag I had I remember that I received my first marble bag in my first video. It was the virtual date, the date night video, the virtual date night video. If you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and leave that there. Um, yeah, I had got a marble. I had a, I had gotten a marbled um, bag, and this bag actually is a mystery bag, and it comes in. It comes in the January twenty twenty mystery glam bag. And I also paid $14 for this. And I actually got this in my first bagging as well for um, for the virtual date night bag. Um, it was just an extra. It was a freebie. I had a freebie bag, which which I really thank Ipsy for that. So this is a mystery bag. It also has like that coin kind of um, gripper, holder, coin type of... Um, handle there for the zipper zipper gripper and it has the word ipsy I see that it's the word itsy and then you can see the hardware the lining is pink the hardware is um like a light gold like a light gold hardware and then the lining the stitching the zipper is pink on the on the cloth part of it and it's marble and it is that like that um it's not faux leather it's like it's like that silicone. No, it feels like silicone, but it's not. I don't know. It's it's nothing. It's like a thicker type of silicone. It's not that silicone like my staycation one, my limited edition staycation, uh, take me away um, bag. It's not like that because that one was a little thinner and it had a scent to it. This one doesn't have a scent like the other one does. I mean, if it does. The other one, the scent is more stronger than this one. This one, you have to really put it up really close to your nose to smell this one. So we'll go ahead and open this up and see what's inside my bag. It has a pink lining in it. Almost peachy, corally. No, it's pink. Yeah, so let me go ahead and pull out the first item in here. It's this one here. Uh, it's by Micha. Micha Beauty. It's a nail lacquer and it's 10 free also so it has those 10 free non-toxic chemicals in there uh, it's chip resistant formula cruelty free vegan friendly so and it's um, and it tells you how to apply it so I think I'm gonna 
polish my nails here for my next uh, for my next part of the video after this one I'm gonna go ahead and polish my nails and create a look with, with the, the bags that I got today and this one's in the shade it's, it's a luxe lacquer hold on before I open it up let me show you the box how it looks like and it gives a little peek of what the color looks like nice packaging I like the packaging on this one it has a knobby has a knobby handle at the top it looks it looks like a perfume bottle to me it looks it looks nice it looks nice and it has the word Micha on it Micha or Micho and it's in the shade NYFW New York FW I don't know what FW stands for but can you see that NYFW so it, it does look like a dark navy blue color so yes I have two polishes to choose from I'm leaning towards the pink one because I love that pastel pink the one that it came out this one's nice too I like the dark dark navy blue but I would have to f figure out what I look I'm going to create and that will determine what nail polish I'll use <laughs> the next thing in my box Ooh, it's it's a gift. It's a keychain um, by Ipsy. It says Ipsy, and it's it's a, a mascara mascara applicator. There. Oh, it's cute. Ipsy comes out with the cutest things, don't they? They 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 put the cutest things in your bag, don't they? They do that. So that's two items. Well, actually, there's um, the fan brush, the scrubbing pads. The keychain and the nail polish that's four items the next item out of this bag is this fifth item here let's see what it is is by real her Ooh, real her I heard real her was really good like a like a lot of people have been talking about real her a lot of uh, hipsters or a lot of um, beauty subscription People who get big subscription boxes, they always talk about Real Her being in their box. This is a eyeshadow in the shade Victoria. So, got a little eyeshadow in here. I have an eyeshadow in my other bag, in my Betty Boot bag. I don't think I had an eyeshadow in my Betty Boot bag. So, we'll see. We'll see what kind of eye look I'll create with that eyeshadow. I don't think I got an eyeshadow in my Betty Boot bag. Let's just take a little peek again. I was impressed with a lot of the stuff that it had in here in the bitty boot bag as far as like the, the lip treatment goes, the cream for the face, the, um, I like the nail polish and the, the their bitty boot brush, the highlighter, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to perform because it looks like it, it looks like it has a formula of like the flesh highlighter, um, flesh to flesh highlighter um, formula, that's what it looks like and that formula for that highlighter it's not very, it's not very, how do you say it, um, like, bam in your face highlight shine. It just kind of like looks more of a, like a powdered um, product that you can use as a highlighter. But at the same time, it's not as shiny. So I want to see how that one performs as well. See how, how that I like. But there's no eye product in here. There's no eye product in the, the Betty Boop one. No eyeshadow, I mean. So, yeah, so I might be trying the real her one, the Victoria shade. Ooh, and another thing I didn't see in my Betty Boop bag is something like this. Uh, this is the, let me see if, I, if I'm saying this correctly. Is the beautiful for real, beauty for real. I've never, I've been wanting to have the real her and the beauty for real items. So I've heard of beauty for real, but I've never received anything in any of my bags or any of my, any of my um 
another box subscription and um and i really wanted to know i really wanted to have a beauty for real item and i just never had one and now i have one and this is brook usa it's a lip balm by La uh, the shade laura and it's a beauty for real one. Oh, i'm so glad i got me a beauty for real shade laura so it's a beauty for real item and i'm so excited to get it in my box i am i'm so excited i'm gonna open this up and i'm gonna show you the shade color in here which i'll probably be wearing this tomorrow oh i thought it was like one of those um what do you call it the ones with the the with the doe fit applicator it's an actual lipstick it's actual a stick Ooh, look at that shade. It's going to match my eyeshadow perfectly. The Real Her eyeshadow is going to go well with that Real Her eyeshadow. So, I think I have some, I think I have a combination of things here that I can use to create a full face makeup. Um, yeah, first impressions of these products. So, stay tuned for that video, you know, when I do my next part. All right, so that was it. That was it in my in these bags. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. I I did. I surely did. I surely enjoyed these these bags for real. I wasn't disappointed with any of the items that were in here. I'm not mad at them. I like what I, I'm. I'm happy with what I got. So, you let me know in your comment section down below. Where you, you know, do you like Ipsy? Are you put off by Ipsy? Did you get any of the bags? any of your any of these bags that you got in the in that month's uh theme did you get any of my items um or were there some items that you had to do like a um add-on so you can receive that item as well because they weren't in your bag so let me know leave me your comments down below i'd like to hear what you what you have to say about ipsy what you have to say about the items you got in your box and how these items perform you know do you like the way they perform um Give me your feedback. I would, I would really love to. I would, re, I would really love to have your feedback. Okay. So thank you for watching my gems, and thank you for those who just stumbled across my video and who have not subscribed or who have, who have been watching me and have not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Why? Why? Why are you? Why are you not subscribed? This it's so simple, so easy, and don't be scared. Don't be shy. I'm not gonna bother you. Just subscribe i'm not gonna bother you just subscribe to my channel it's it's good it's a good channel i there's no drama in my channel it's uh wholesome and i'm we're just all here to have a good time and talk about makeup and wear makeup and um yeah so please subscribe and for those who are not subscribed yet also what are you waiting for it's the end of the video and you have not subscribed subscribe subscribe come on what are you waiting for don't shut me off don't cut me off don't okay so for those who stayed there until the end thank you so much thank you for so much uh subscribe hit the notification bell give my video a thumbs up and i love you my gems until next time i'll see you then take care have a wonderful day night whichever part of the world you're in have a good day okay thank you my gems bye